Hey guys, how's it going? This is George from techno.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to reset your passcode on your iPhone. So, let's have a look. Alright guys, so for this method to work out, you must have access to a computer. It doesn't matter whether it's going to be a Mac or Windows, all you need the computer for is to download iTunes and if you have a Mac, most likely you're going to have iTunes already installed on your computer. But if you have Windows, then you're going to have to download iTunes from the link down in the description. Because unfortunately, Windows don't come with iTunes already installed. And once you have done that, for Windows users, if you have installed the iTunes on your computer, then we need to talk about the requirements. So what you're going to need. Of course, you need to, your locked iPhone. You need uh, one of those charging cables and don't worry, they come together with your iPhone and this is what you use to charge your iPhone with. And if your computer doesn't have a USB USB um, port, this is prevalent with, with the Mac computers, you're going to have to get one of those. This is an adapter. So this adapter connects to a USB-C cable and it provides you with some USB ports. So the way this works is you just plug it in the USB, the charging cable with the adapter, you plug this into your computer and then you can connect your iPhone just like that. And given the fact that the iPhone is disabled, if you connect it to your computer, you will realize that there's no charging indication of your battery uh, icon on the top. I'm gonna move closer to show you. So as you can see, there is no, there is no charging, uh, the charging icon on the battery. So this means that Apple has made the, your iPhone to, to not be recognized on your Mac if it's disabled. Which is really bad because we really need iTunes to be able to recognize our phone if we want to proceed with this method. The only way to do this is by entering our phone into recovery mode. And recovery mode allows the iPhone to be recognized by iTunes if there, there's any problems with it. And if you want to learn more about the recovery mode, I have another video right here on the card right here. So simply click on it and you're going to be taken to this video. So you may ask, how do we enter this iPhone onto recovery mode? And the answer depends on the model of your iPhone. There are three methods and I'm going to go through and show you all of them. So if you have an iPhone 10 or later, that means if you have a 10, a 10s Max, an iPhone 10s, an iPhone 10R, an iPhone 11 or an iPhone 12, including the iPhone 8 and iPhone 8 Plus, then this is the method that you should follow. So your iPhone is locked right now. So what you need to do is to hold down the power button and the lower volume key. So that's a power button and that's the lower volume key. So hold them down together until you see the screen. So don't touch the SOS option, just slide in the power off. And now, as soon as the iPhone is turned off, all you need to do is to grab the iPhone cable, make sure it's connected to your computer, and hold down the power button. And while hold, holding the power button, connect the charging cable with the iPhone. And this is the screen that we're looking for. This is the recovery screen, which allows our computer and iTunes to recognize our phone. And in case you want to know how to exit recovery mode, I have a video right here which explains everything about recovery mode and DFU mode on the iPhone. However, what if you don't have one of the phones that I have mentioned? What if your phone has a physical button just like this? But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to enter recovery mode using a phone like that. So if you have an iPhone 6s or earlier that includes iPhone 6, iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, iPhone 4, iPhone 3G, 3GS, and 2G, the first generation, this method is going to work for you. So the, way, so the way this works is you hold down the power button, this is the button that you use to turn off or on your iPhone, so hold it down until you see the screen again. Slide to the right to turn off, and at this moment, hold down the home button and connect your iPhone to your computer. And that's the recover screen for an iPhone which is earlier than the iPhone 6s. However, this method is different if you own an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus. 
So if you have one of those two phones, all you have to do is to hold down the power button just as we did earlier, swipe to the right, and once the iPhone is turned off, you have to hold down the volume down key instead of the home button as we did earlier. So hold down the volume down key and plug in your iPhone to your computer. Now this is not an iPhone 7 but an iPhone 6 so this method is not going to work for me but if you have an iPhone 7 then you should enter the recovery mode. So given that you're right now on recovery mode let's head on to my computer and show you exactly what to do. Alright guys, so here on your computer, you're going to be prompted with this message right here, indicating that there's a problem with your iPhone. However, if you don't see this message, then make sure you connect your iPhone with your computer, or make sure that you go ahead and launch Finder just like that. You move to the bottom menu bar, and then just click on Finder, and then it's going to open. If you're on an older version of macOS, say macOS Mojave earlier, then this is going to be on iTunes, so you go to Finder, or you go to your hard drive, you go to Applications, and then you scroll down until you see the iTunes application and then you open it. Then you go to this little square button on the top left, you click on it and then you'll see this message. The same thing works with Windows, you download iTunes for Windows and then you follow the same process. So what we want to do here is we want to actually cancel and unfortunately the only way to remove your passcode is by resetting your iPhone to the factory settings. That means all of your data will be deleted. However, if you already have done some backups with iTunes or iClouds, then it's still possible to save your data once you reset your phone. I'm gonna show you how to uh, restore your backup if you have one with both iTunes and iCloud. So at this point, what you wanna do, you can either press on restore iPhone, but the only option that you have is to restore and update your iPhone to the latest iOS version. Now, if you don't mind, then you can just press on this button and then wait until the process is done. Or if you don't want to update to the latest version and you just want to reset on the same iOS version, then head over to ipsw.me. That's a website. And what we're gonna do is to download the current iOS firmware that you're currently using. And if you have forgotten what iOS firmware you're using, then there are limited iOS versions which you can uh, restore your iPhone with. And I'm going to show you all the options that you can do. So from the ipsw.me, head over to iPhone. And here you need to choose the device that you're currently using. In my case, I have an iPhone XR, but assuming that you have an iPhone 10, as you can see, there are two versions. If your iPhone is unlocked, then make sure you, you select global. If not, GSM will be good. If you choose a wrong version, don't worry because iTunes is not going to let you to restore your iPhone with that iOS version. So we're going to choose iPhone XR and you see that only those two versions are available right now and for my phone as well and probably for your case as well. So you're going to choose either one of those. I like to go with the latest iOS 14 version. So we're going to choose iOS 14.8 I'm going to click on download. Please keep this in mind. It's a pretty large firmware. It's a large file. So it's going to take some time to complete the download. And once the download is finished, then you may quit IPSW.me. We don't, we no longer need this anymore and click on cancel here. And now we need to press on restore iPhone, but we need to tell iTunes with what iOS version we want to restore our iPhone with and in our case it's 14.8 and because i'm using a mac i'm gonna hold down the alt key on your keyboard as you can see on the top right screen and press on restore phone but if you're using windows and you're using itunes with windows hold down the shift key and press on restore phone and you're going to be prompt with this window here so this is the critical step you need to go to downloads and you need to choose the ios firmware that you have just downloaded so click on that and select open. Now you're going to be prompted with this message saying that your Mac is going to erase your phone to iOS 14.8, exactly what we want. By the time of recording this video, the latest iOS version I can update my phone with is iOS 15. I don't want that. I want iOS 14.8. So I'm going to select restore.
all right guys so the iphone has been fully resetted and as you can see you'll see the welcome screen exactly as you did as soon as you bought your iphone so just like brand new iphone right now so what we're going to do is to follow the instructions we're going to go ahead and set it up so it's just a language you know the country that you live in uh, enter your sim card if you have one set up manually and now this is the important thing now if you have an icloud backup you want to set up your wi-fi password so i'm going to go ahead and do this quickly all right moving on to the next step continue i'm going to set this up later on set up a passcode okay and here if you have an icloud backup then press on the very first option restore from icloud backup if you have an itunes backup and you never use icloud although apple still enforces you to use icloud then you can go ahead and choose restore from mac or pc or i'm going to show you how to do this manually right after we finish with the installation because this is a better way of restoring a backup to your phone so for those users who who have an icloud backup follow with me right now so i'm going to choose icloud backup and enter the iCloud credentials. Agree in terms of conditions. Choose your latest backup. And unfortunately, because I never backup with iCloud, mine is actually three years old at the time of recording this video. But in your case, you might have a much newer backup with iCloud. So we're gonna select the latest option and see what happens. So continue. And basically right now it's gonna I ask you whether you want to set up uh, the settings that you had from your backup. I say yes to save some time. I choose not now for now. Don't share. Continue and continue. I like the light mode appearance. And now you just have to wait until the restoration from back from iCloud is done. Now this really depends on how big your iCloud backup is. In my case, it's just only less than five gigabytes, so it should be fast. All right, so the iPhone is now rebooting. And you are done. So all you need to do is swipe up, enter your passcode, enter your SIM card if you have one, and that's basically it. And if you go to settings, go to general, about, and you'll see that we have iOS 14.8. So this is the firmware that we ask from iTunes to restore our device with. And after that, you're pretty much done. You actually have erased your phone and you're good to go. But what if you have an iTunes backup? What if you also have an iTunes backup? You may want, you may prefer to erase with an iTunes backup if you have one. So right now, I'm going to show you exactly that, how to restore your phone using an iTunes backup. All right, so at this stage, iTunes is going to recognize your phone as a brand new iPhone being connected to your computer. So we're going to select on trust you also need to make sure that you hit trust on your phone and you may need to enter your password as well and now you'll see the welcome to your new iphone on the itunes let's go ahead and follow the instructions and see what we can do and here you should get this option to restore from your previous backup so this is going to be the latest backup I'm gonna, that I had and I'm going to go ahead and select continue. And of course, in case you have find my iPhone turned on on your device, that's the perfect time to go ahead and disable it. So on your phone, you go to settings and then go to your Apple ID on the top. Go to where it says find my, select the option and then go to find my iPhone and simply disable it. You may need to enter your Apple ID in order to continue. And once that's done, press on OK and then try again. As you can see, the phone is on restore in progress, which is going to take some time in order to restore all of the data that you have had on that backup.
All right, so back on the welcome screen. So again, as we did earlier, let's go ahead and set it up. Set your passcode. Press continue. Enter your Apple ID credentials. So now waiting for iCloud to update all the settings on your phone. And there we go. I'm gonna set up my uh, Apple Pay later on, but you can do this now if you if you have time. And there we go. We're back on the iPhone with your latest backup restored. And as you can see, all the apps are gonna be automatically be installed from App Store. So you don't need to do anything right now. You just have to wait. Just make sure that you keep the Wi-Fi on and everything will be back on your device. All right, guys, so that was the end of this video. And if you managed to reach to the end, then congratulations, you managed to solve a very difficult problem and a very complex one involving multiple steps. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the thumbs up down to the right in order to support this channel. Don't forget to share this video to your friends in case they're experiencing the same issue in order to provide them with a step-by-step -step guide on how to go through this whole process. I understand that this is a long problem and involves multiple steps. So if you have any questions, don't forget to let me down in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. And the most important thing, if you would like to support this channel further, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell right next to it in order to be one of the first people to watch our latest videos. Thanks for watching and as always, I'm going to see you in my next video.